Hey everyone, Josh here, and today I want to share some of the speculations about a brand new Glowforge that's coming out. It's a brand new machine by Glowforge. All of this information was publicly posted in a Facebook group around Glowforge. There's many different Glowforge Facebook groups, and it's in a lot of them. So if you need to reach out to the person who posted this originally, join it there. I'm not going to post their name here publicly, just in case they don't want their name in a video. With all that out of the way, um, it's all pure speculation at this point, but it seems to be pretty accurate, and I'm going to show you why. I'm going to show you what the new machine potentially looks like, um, and the information that they've released, and I'm just relaying that information here. So with all of that out of the way, as you can see, this is their regular Glowforge and what it looks like now. Um, and I'll show you a picture of the new one here in just a second. But let me show you why this seems to be pretty accurate. If you do a quick Google search, look for trademarks. It looks like Glowforge has registered a new trademark for a machine called Glowforge Aurora. Um, and it was uh, filed on March 17th. So it looks like it's a pretty accurate information here. Now, with all that out of the way, let's show you a photo of what this looks like here. This is the information as it was released in multiple days across. Uh, this was a, a photo they shared from an email that they got. Um, and I'm not sure how they got the email here, but this is the information that they shared. So like I said, this is all speculation. There's no way to confirm it other than the information that was shared on that public uh, group. But it looks to be pretty realistic, um, and it has Glowforge's logo on this machine all over it. So I'm going to show you the different photos that we have. Uh, go ahead and pause the video, and you can read over any of this information as you need to. I'm not going to read it out individually and bore you. Um, next up here is an overview photo. The, these just came out today that I'm aware of um, in the group. Um, it looks like you still have a startup button, but it looks like a more concaved um, startup button here. Uh, same Glowforge logo as the other machine. Um, and then you have this nice orange glass lid here. So that leads me to believe it's a diode laser. Um, so it's just going to be not as powerful as the other Glowforges, but it'll still make it through their quarter inch um, proof grade material. Um, here's another look at what it can make. Uh, like I said here, appears to be their quarter inch uh, proof grade material here. And then they do have a pass-through slot on this machine. Um, so it looks like it can go, I would assume, right to left if it's coming out the left side cut. But um, that could just be a photo that they put in afterwards. So it could go left to right. Uh, we won't know until that comes out. And then um, let's go to the next photo here. The next photo, you can see a clearer image of this pass-through slot on this side. You can see the side image of it here. And then uh, this one is a really nice looking image. You can kind of see what the, um, the pass-through slot over here is going to look like. I'm not sure if they're going to leave this open for this handle here or if they're going to have like close-off insides like the Pro version does now where you put the metal insides in when you're not using this um, and then uh, you, you can see the actual glass kind of wraps around the front edge on this too so you get a little bit better of an image of the glass here and then here's another side image so yeah like I said in that last uh, photo there it looks like there might be a metal insert that you put in when you're not using the pass-through slot so I assume they're gonna be kind of like the pro model now where you just screw in little screw tabs on both sides um, but like I said don't quote me on anything that I say here this is just pure speculation based on um, the information that I found in the group there and then same with this photo here this is a really good shot shows you uh, the entire side and it open again uh, but on this side you can see there's a white area so it might not be a metal insert after all. It's uh, confusing based on the photos because it looked like this little cutout was, was not even there. So uh, this could be multiple different prototypes potentially. And then right here is this brings in the question, is there going to be a brand new Glowforge filter altogether? Because this looks nothing like their filters currently uh, that I'm aware of. And um, so just another thing to note that this will require ventilation so either to like this 
new looking filter here or out a window. So you can't have it in the center of the room like it shows here. You will need some kind of vent uh, hooked up. So just a heads up on that. And then lastly, let me see if I can zoom in on this information. They took a screenshot of some other information they got about it here. Sorry if it looks grainy when it zooms in. I'll zoom out a little bit here. Pause the video at any point that you want. You can read over all this. I don't want to read it all over, but basically it's essentially saying it can cut a lot of the same materials as the other Glowforge. Um, and then lastly, let me see if I can zoom in here so you guys can see this as well. Here's some more information you can read over about it, but the main thing that we want to look at is the details of the machine. Color is white and orange, as you can see. Here's the overall machine size. So it's a lot less of a footprint than the other one. Um, the, the cutting area is going to be smaller. It's a 12 by 12 when it's closed or 12 by infinite when it's uh, open with the pass-through slot here. Um, if the pass-through slot works like the original Glowforge, you're going to have to put the wood in, cut an area, move the wood, and then it's going to take a new photo of it and then cut the next area. So you have to do that manually. Hopefully they have a different workaround for that, but I'm not sure if they do. Um, and then it does cut up to quarter inch materials like the other machine. It's 19 pounds, so it's much lighter than the original Glowforge. Um, and then it says free design software included. So I assume that's just going to be the regular Glowforge um, user interface website. Um, but maybe they created a whole new design software for it, so who knows um, how that's going to work. Um, and then lastly, the one that, screenshot that I didn't get to take that they did notate down in the uh, Glowforge Facebook group. Um, it seems like the cost they're speculating is going to be $1,200, um, but I didn't have any actual screenshots of that. So that's pure speculation right now. Um, and just an idea of what it could cost is like $1,200. So I don't know if that was why the basic truly got discontinued was to introduce a, a lower end machine. So they would choose this over a basic. But um, that's pretty much all of the information that we have on this machine so far. So I'll just cycle through these one more time. Other than that, I hope this information helped you guys out. And um, we'll catch you guys in the next one.